Hi, welcome to the craft room here in Spain. I was watching Antonio making his little calendars the other day and I decided to have a go with an addition of putting a post-it note on the bottom part, extending it a little bit. So I decided to print some papers off of Antonio's and I went for some of his Pretty in Pink kit. Just show you those. I didn't print them all off, um, just a few that I thought would go well. So I did two of the butterflies because I'm not sure which butterflies I want to add. And then I printed these, this one. There's, I printed three of them because I wasn't sure how many I'm going to make. But I'd already made this little calendar um, and this was a freebie on the web and I just cut it out. It was just one page and then glued it all together with PVA glue. Just put a few layers of PVA glue on the top so that it will peel off like a post, not a post-it note, like um, any pad that's sort of glued. Just trim that edge off there. So what Antonio did was he, well, I've cut a piece of A4 card in half. This is craft card. And then I'm scoring it at, just get my scoreboard in, and my scorer. Score it at three inches, six inches, seven and eight. Then I've decided to round the corners of mine. Let me just press these down. Get the edges equal. These are really quick little gifts um, to go in. You can either put them in a Christmas card or a little stocking filler. Absolutely brilliant. And the first one, let me just show you the first one. This was just a piece of paper that I had um, at the side of me. I think it's a freebie from Artie Mays. And then if you put the post-it note on, it just helps it stand up. Can you see that? And I put a little charm on the ribbon. So that can just sit on your desk and you've got a little post-it note and your calendar. And it will fold flat, reasonably flat for posting as well. So, just put that to the side. Right, so this is the basis of your... This is going to be... In fact, I'll fold that the other way. That's going to be the base. And then that's going to fold down. And then that folds up for posting. That's not how I did that one. Let me just check. Oh, I see. Yeah, it folds down like that. Okie doke. Get back to it. Right, I'm just going to trim my papers. And then I'll just use one of these. So it's half of an A4 piece of craft card, or any card, white. As long as it folds quite well. And it's better, I think, with non-directional papers. So I'm going to round the corners of mine because I think that looks nicer. That's just my preference, you don't have to. And I'm going to ink the edges that are going to be the base. That's going to fold up and then that's going to be the front. So I'm inking this one as well. You can buy little um, packs of calendars um, I think the range had them when I was in the UK once and I'm going to see if I can get some at my local craft shop so I'm going to cut a piece of paper just over nine and a half centimetres by eight and a half so just over Nine and a half by eight and a half. Make sure 
sure that fits there. Yeah, and I'll round those corners too. You know, this corner rounder must be my most used piece of equipment ever. I use it on all sorts of stuff. I'm just going to use my Anita's glue that's been watered down a fraction. Anita's is like a white tacky glue. But I notice using the Tombow that it does make my card a bit warped. So that's why I'm trying this one. So that just slots in there. Then you want a piece to go on the front. So that's going to be the same width, about nine and three quarter centimetres by about seven. By seven. And I'll round those corners too. Give it a quick ink. This is a beautiful kit of Antonio's. I have used it before and I'll link that video below. Um, lots of butterflies, really beautiful. And that slots on there. If you want, you can put a piece on the back, but that won't be seen on the front of your desk. So I'll glue my calendar on that side. Then you've got this lovely flower. And then, yeah, it grabs a lot better, this um, Anita's glue. Then I bought two post-it notes from the local... Um, stationery shop they were only 95 cents and I'm going to split them into about three because obviously if you're posting them you don't want the bulk so I'll just roughly yeah about three and then glue that onto your base I'll put that at the left as well, then you just see a bit of this lovely pattern. Then that will stand like that. Now I'm going to fussy cut. I'm just going to do one of the small butterflies, I think, just to just put on the corner of the calendar. I know it'll be peeled off when they peel the first page off. But just as they open it up, it will look really pretty. You can always make these a little bit wider. Then you can get more ephemera stuck on. You know, another bigger butterfly or anything that you like, really. But I just thought they were really lovely, quick gifts. And I shall link Antonio's original video, just making the calendars. And then I just thought they're really good, but just to make them a little bit different, just put a little post-it note on. So I'm just going to glue that on the side of the calendar there. And then I put a charm, and it's only a tiny one, a tiny heart there. And I did have a little bit of trouble getting the ribbon through, so bear with me while I just get my tweezers to try and make it quite a point because it's a little tiny hole and that's not pointy enough. of a thread with the end of your tweezers it does pull through so I want that to go under there and tie at the front 
I'm just going to tie it in a knot first. Just put my finger on there. Let's just cut the ribbon, make it a bit easier. that on the front, slide it down a fraction and then push the charm to the knot and then tie it in a bow. And you can see the little heart sticking out, just chop the ends off. So there we go and that is a quick gift and if you have the shop bought calendars even quicker you don't have to make these which does take a bit of time because you have to try and get them all cut roughly the same size and then glue them two or three times isn't that pretty all in pink so that's a pretty in pink kit from Antonio makes and there will be a discount code in the description box below of you'll get 10% if you use my code okay thanks for joining me today and i'll see you next time bye